All right! Hello everyone, welcome to Batman's Chest. This is actually Arkham Asylum, the first Batman game, and Newsflash, even though it's 13, I don't know how many years old, it's, it's really good. It's a really good game, and apparently the other Batman games are even better. So I've been playing this game a good bit lately, and I wanted to show you guys uh, an achievement that I got, and how exactly I went about getting it, in case anyone else was curious. I really just wanted to show it off because I was pretty proud. So this achievement that I'm showing you is called Free Flow Perfection. It's perform a perfect combo, including all of Batman's combat moves, in any play mode. So the easiest way to get that will be in this challenge mode and I've already completed the main campaign of the game. Probably your best bet is to just go into the first combat map, which is Intensive Treatment. I will say here, before we get started, I have been following a guide for all of my achievements, and it has been very, very useful. It's an amazing guide. In the description, I'll put a link to the guide, which has every single achievement, every single collectible, how to get that, and then in the section with these combat achievements, there's also uh, an overview of the controls and how to do all the moves. In intensive treatment, there are four rounds. It is possible to get the achievement in round two, but you're probably better off doing it in round three. I'll put a timestamp here for when I actually do the free flow perfection, but before that, I wanted to jump into what I found to be the best order of the nine moves. So we'll do the moves piece by piece in round two, and then try to string them all together in round three. So at the very beginning in round one, I always cycle from the Batarang, which it always puts you on, over to the Bat Claw, which is three. And then as long as you don't change it, it will start on the Bat Claw for all the other rounds. To start off the combo immediately, you want to try to grab a couple of the guys with the Bat Claw. It can grab up to three of them when you're aiming. And the guys that you're going to want to grab are the closest to you so that they don't hit you, like this. Ideally, when you grab people with the Bat Claw, you'll also be able to chain that with a counter right at the beginning. After you did those two moves, you're going to want to get a couple punches in so that you can get at least five in a row. Five in a row is what you need to start being able to do the uh, takedown moves. So bring them in, and then while they're stumbling, you can get a couple hits on them. Try to go in for a counter. And then once you have at least five, you can hold shift and either left click or right click for the two different moves. So again, there's three different takedown moves that you have to do out of the nine. And after you do the back claw and the counter, you're going to want to get in the combat throw and the combat takedown. Then on the very last guy, that's when you'll do the ground takedown. Be mindful that if you try to do the combat throw, and the combat takedown immediately one after another. Sometimes it just will not select the guy that you're trying to do the takedown on, so you probably want to string one or two punches between those two takedown moves. The punches that are also thrown in also count as a move, so that's five so far. And then there's one sequence to add on to the end that will ensure that you'll get to nine, as long as you hit the right buttons. I will mention this only works while you're actually in the combo, because the Batarang won't knock him down if you don't have a multiplier. I'll also mention, once you're selected on the Bat Claw, you will not have to switch over to your Batarang as long as you use the quick Batarang button. But you cape stun him, you jump right over him, you Batarang him, and then when he gets knocked down, you can do the ground takedown. Those are all four moves, all in succession on one guy. This will also ensure that you'll have one guy knocked down at the very end. A couple times I got eight in a row, and then I didn't have one final guy knocked down on the ground to do the ground takedown. Like I said, round three is probably your best bet. It has just the right number of guys, but we're going to move on to round four to see if we can get it. There we go. And that combo should have been nine. <laughs> nice Thanks Thank you. Me that. There you go. 
Uh, when you get the nine move combo or the perfect combo, you get a 5,000 point bonus. So even if you do have the achievement, this will be a very necessary string of moves later on so that you can get the point bonus to get all of the medals. This was an atypical video of mine to make, but uh, hopefully you guys thought it was interesting or it actually helped anybody. That would be really cool. And I really do recommend the Batman Arkham games. At least Arkham Asylum seems like a Metroidvania type. And additionally, sometimes it's even on sale on Steam for only five bucks, I think, for all the games in the franchise, not just this really old one. But yeah, I was just excited to share that. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.